We are with Shane from uh, Bridge House here in Boulder. Bridge House serves Boulder County homeless and working poor. Bridge House provides a safe, supportive community for Boulder's homeless and working poor. We're committed to the survival and needs of our clients and provide services that lead to healing, employment, and housing. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. This is the first time we've ever had Bridge House on either Boulder Channel 1 or 22 Boom or Jan Scott, and I want to just thank you for the work that you do. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. Well, you, because you guys do a lot of really important survival work for Absolutely. people. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, so Bridge House um, addresses basic needs for working for homeless in Boulder. So to start off, we have our Bridge of Opportunity, and that starts with a meal program. So we serve about 60,000 meals per year. We have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner program. Our dinner program is called Community Table. And we also do um, employment and um, uh, housing assistance. Who makes all the our dinners? Clients. Our team, so a combination of volunteers, um, our food coordinator, sorry, and um, our ready-to-work clients. If you haven't heard of ready-to-work, it's our paid transitional employment program. Yep. So um, basically we have, it's a supplemental sanitation um, a supplemental sanitation crew, what's Yeah, that? so we do, um, let's see, so we've done uh, some light landscaping, we've mm. done some um, cleanup of the park, we'll do some trash pickup, we'll do some light landscaping, some construction. Who runs the crew? Our, so Bridge House, so our Bridge House supervisors, and um, so basically uh, Ready to Work um, offers uh, transitional employment for folks that are having trouble finding employment in Boulder County. Are those, are those for, guys sober? Are they guys who go to the so sober when they go to work? So in our program, you have to be clean and sober mm -hmm. in the program. Um, and it's six months. It's a six-month program, yep. and you're actually um, getting paid above the minimum wage. And yep. while you're in our program, you are actively seeking employment from when you graduate. Oh, that's so and good. And we follow you from day one to the very end, so we know that you're on your way to self-sufficiency. Now, where's, where's Bridge House located? Bridge House is 1120 and a half Mine Street. Um, so we're tucked behind the First Congregational Church in the alleyway on Broadway is, is and Mine. Is it crowded in there? I mean, I've heard that there. It's crowded. So we have a very small space, and we'll see sometimes in the winter we'll have up to 100 people in the building at any given time. And it's really crowded. One thing that we definitely struggle with is space. But because of that reason, we um, moved some of our programs over to the First Presbyterian Annex, and that's called our Resource Center. So that's open Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 9 to 3, and that's where all of our most of our case management is. So we're doing helping people get IDs, helping people get birth certificates, helping people um, fill out resumes, and working people with um, mock interviews, getting um, access to yeah. interview clothing, I probably don't even and setting that. up for eligible for benefits um, to see for eligible, like food stamps and SSI and stuff like that. Well, talk, to, talk to us a little bit about the amount of alcoholism and drug addiction that you see. How, how is it? What's going on? It's definitely prevalent in the community. Um, I don't. I, I can give you an exact number. I'm not really sure, but I would say you know a large portion of um, our clients um, do have a substance abuse issue, and we definitely do address that. We have um, an AA program, we have an NA program, um, and we have a hook group, and we have. Um, does NA and AA, do they meet there? Yes, okay. they do. Yeah. And we also partner with the Addiction Recovery Center. Oh, the alcohol and they center. hold a group yeah. at our resource center. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. But it's like a lot of those folks are really pretty ill, aren't they? I, mean, I don't think people understand the nature of addiction and alcoholism, how it just takes. It takes certain people and just slams them on the street and keeps them there. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a really tough thing that we struggle with um, every day. And, you know, a lot of people see people handling, panhandling on the street, yeah. and, you know, they don't really know where the money is going to go, and if it's going to, towards a bottle. But you got to ask yourself, yeah. why is that? Well, living on the street sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crappy situation that yeah. we're really trying to alleviate. So. Wow. So, wh with. what else do you guys do? We, um... What else did we do? So basically, Bridge House. It's Bridge House here in Boulder, serving Boulder's homeless and working poor. Um, the, one of the biggest things that I really noticed, I, um, my favorite part about my job is talking to people and listening to their story and understanding who they are and where they're from. And I heard some just amazing stories and a lot of these you know, people that are on the street, they struggle a lot and they have a lot of challenges to overcome, but they 
have such an amazing and strong spirit. No, I think what makes me cry is that, I mean, I lived on the streets of Boulder. I was an alcoholic and a drug addict on these streets. I almost died here. I almost died in that park, mm. you know, um, a long time ago. So I know what it is, and I know how hard it is. I also know the work that you folks do. I mean, I hear, I hear stories of people... Um, that go there and get fed or that nearly freeze to death and can get in there on a, um, on a cold day. And, uh, you know, fortunately, I mean, we have the libraries open. You know, if it's a cold day, you can also go to um, the, any municipal building in Boulder is open. That's a good thing about Boulder is if it, it is snowing during the day, you, uh, the city will, you know, the, that's why so many, well, let's talk about that. Why do so many people go to the library? The library gets awfully angry well, at the drunk homeless, but on the other hand... Well, it's a free building to be inside, and you can hang out and not freeze in the winter. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big thing that Boulder struggles with. I mean, we have a lot of great programs, but I can say this a million times, we can do better. It's not, it's unacceptable for people to um, have the chance of possibly freezing to death in the winter. It's and, unacceptable. So that's and, and we do lose men and women on the streets yes, in do. the winter from exposure. Yes, we do. A, an unfair, unacceptable amount, I would say. And we, each house holds a memorial service every uh, December to commemorate those what, people and honor them. What do we need? I mean, if you, if you had a wish list, the perfect wish list, what um, you know? What does Bridge House really need to to help this population, especially during the cold months? Uh, number one, I would say community awareness. People need to know who these people are and what they're doing and what we're trying to do to help. I think the Boulder community needs to understand um, that there is a good portion of homeless people on the streets in, in Boulder, and that's not really something that people really see, given that Boulder is such a wonderful, um, healthy community. So, community awareness, I would say, is, is key and more support and obviously financial support is a big one, but um we have a lot of millionaires in Boulder. I mean, we have the whole tech crowd. We have tech stars. We have all these young millionaires. And I've said this over the years, so over and over and over. You people that are multi-millionaires, the first place you should be giving your money to is a rich house. I mean, there are people in this town with $500 million. They could easily drop a million a year in your direction and save lives. I mean, to have men and women freeze to death from exposure on the streets of Boulder is completely and totally unacceptable. Having children starve to death, I mean, I know I mentor, I have mentored some young teenage kids or whose parents were alcoholics and drug addicts and let the kids starve. And although now Boulder has, the school district does have a breakfast and, and feeding program yep. for kids so they yep, get the to free, eat. The free lunch program. The which program? It's called the uh, free lunch program. Right? Free lunch, yeah, right. But 50, 20 years ago they didn't have that. Right. And kids would go right. hungry. Right, absolutely. And even then, it's really, it's tough. My, um, my partner is a high school math teacher, and a lot of his students are struggling in, in class because they are they can't focus. So like, even though they're on the free meal program, that's one meal, you know, so I'm sure their parents are happy knowing that they're getting one meal at least um, while at school, but it's still... Well, thanks very much for coming by Thank and visiting with us both here on uh, Boulder Channel 1 at our live broadcast booth. Um, at the hometown fair, it's uh, Bridge House. Uh, they're here in Boulder. And also on Channel 22, on 22 Boom, this segment will be playing on uh, Educational Access Channel 22. Can so I say one more thing? You absolutely can. Go so, right thank you so much for, for listening, everybody out there. So, we're over here um, near the... Um, Help with the Boulder Public Library selling raffle tickets actually to win a 2013 Toyota Prius, if you can believe it. And every cent of that um, that purchase goes directly to our programs and services to help the homeless and working poor in Boulder. So I really appreciate it if you come stop by our booth and support us. And Thank you. And what about for those people who are watching this later on Channel 22? Yep. How can how can people support uh, Bridge House? You know that are watching this on yeah. Go to our, our website. It's www.boulderbridgehouse.org, and you can make a donation right on our website. Thanks very much. Thank well, you. Nice to meet you, Shane. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.